In a moment now, in a moment now, we're going to introduce one of my favorites among the newer comedians, and one of yours, I'm sure. You know, there are many ways, many styles to uh, introduce a comedian. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. For example, uh, at one time, it was sort of the custom to uh, do it in the casual, sport-shirted, pipe-smoking manner, something like this. MC works something like this. So now comes a bit of mirth and merriment, ladies and gentlemen, provided by our very good friend and neighbor. A bit of a ladder's going to take us on a little trip through Laughter Lane, Master Dickie Sean coming out here. There he is, Dick. Casual approach, overly casual. Then, of course, there was the uh, approach of the fellow who worked in the very early days of television, and he did a very high-powered introduction, something like this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a very wonderful, truly very wonderful, funny guy. When he's really wonderful, he's truly very, and he's very truly wonderful. Very true, and he's very wonderful, too. Here he is today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it from Mr. Dick Berry, or Dick Sean. There he is. <laughs> That's the way they used to work. And then, of course, television grew up, and it became uh, more literate, I guess is the word. And today, we have the very uh, astute introduction that you might hear on a Sunday afternoon, something like this. What is comedy? Comedy is the manifestation of our conflicts, our inner conflicts that often reveals itself in outward uh, aggressions. And to illustrate this point, we very proudly present now the distinguished artist, Nazi Sean. <laughs> then, of course, probably the best way of all is just to say simply, hey, Dick, you're on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. My name is Dick Duran. Uh, Sean. <laughs> Seriously, though, this evening I'd like to uh, tell you about my pet theory. That being that the human singing voice is directly related to animals. It goes back many, many years when man was fascinated by the sounds from our four-legged friends. He would get up every morning during prehistoric time. Prehistoric man would get up about four o'clock every morning, sneak out into the jungle, and listen to the various animals getting up. The first to awaken would be the lion, the lion awakening in the morning. <laughs> Next to get up would be the koana bird, the simple little koana bird, no bigger than that, the smallest bird in captivity, awakening in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bird, no bigger than a <laughs> very big throat. All of these birds. And then the alligator. The alligator getting up in the morning after having a breakfast of koana birds. Good morning, good morning. Help, save me. Get me out of this. <laughs> then the turtle. He was very quiet, but he played his part also. The turtle getting up in the morning on a misty day. One after another, until came, well, the peak, the golden age of opera, when the sheep influenced the dramatic tenor. Dramatic tenor from a simple bah. That's all it was. Bah. Then through the years it began developing. Bah. 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 My love for only you can end this bang. <laughs> The soprano. Soprano from a simple little chicken. A woman had a farm and she owned a little chicken and she heard Then she began developing. She had a horse on the farm also. <laughs> then came the cow. A simple cow. <laughs> fellow made, made a lot of money from this fellow. <laughs> Everything I have is yours. That's right, Rudy Valley. <laughs> made a million dollars in two quarts. Fantastic. All these things. And even up to today, today we find techniques, techniques from animals. One fellow in particular reminds you of a snake. Did you ever notice this fellow? Made a million dollars wiggling around the stage. The hottest singer in show business today. Because he's always moving. You know the fellow I mean. He sings about that old black magic and boy. He's always wiggling on the stage, and he sings that old, that old black magic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that old black. 
black magic. Oh, my. Oh, black magic has me in a spin. Oh, my. Then a little girl. A little girl made a lot of money because she reminds you of a little cat all alone on the prowl. Meow, she bone. Meow, wah, wah, she bone. Bow, she bone. Meow, she bone. The fellow went to the zoo one day, saw a tremendous gorilla about 10 feet tall, watched him for an hour, picked up this style walking home. Hey, hi, ho, My theory, and I believe it. I'm going to let you be the judge. I'll do a, a, a sort of a romantic ballad. I do two choruses. The first chorus, the way it was written, just with the notes. The second chorus, under the influence of the animal instinct. First chorus, nice and see you in my dream. Dream. Took my. Out of my arms, and now, now I lips. Tender eyes the shine. You know they will light my way tonight. I'm going to see you, baby, in my dream. Yes, I'll see you in dreams. And I'll hug you in my dreams. Yeah, you know, someone I took my honey. Sunbeam, the best electric appliance.